Hi, welcome to a product review and test by Robojax. In this video, we are going to see how we can use this AC power meter that can measure up to 100 ampere. This can display voltage, current, power, energy, even frequency and uh, power factor. The model for this one is P06S100. This is a 100 ampere version. And also there is a P06S20, which is 20 ampere version. I'm going to measure two devices, two different devices. One is pure resistor fluid, a toaster, and also I'm going to measure in a uh, heat gun, which has a motor inductive load and the heat with this uh, resistive with it. I'm, and then I'm going to connect a capacitor parallel with the load to see the reactive load and how this one handles it. Let's get started with this. A word of warning that if you're not a professional and you don't know what you are doing, do not play with capacitor uh, connecting it to AC load and do not touch or get close to the exposed wiring that is connected to the live power. To measure AC power, you need a device and this device is sold on eBay uh, for around $15 US. And this is the Pukai p 6 s 100 and there is a 20 uh, ampere version of this. The device comes with a very, very single page, one side Chinese, one side English manual. This shows the voltage, the power that is being consumed, the current that is being passed through and also shows the power factor, amount of energy that uh, is being consumed during that time and also uh, the, the frequency. Also it has an alarm that if you can set certain value when, a, when it reaches that power, it will blink on the screen, it does nothing else. And also you can set the reset the values Let me explain the wiring. This side we see pin 4 and pin 3 and I've connected this uh, GST connector so I can connect it and disconnect it from AC easily. One thing to remember about this is that uh, the, uh, here they've labeled it as neutral and L so the live wire must be on this side. That's one thing and also for the current transformer it's already inserted and the current transformer is such that it pass live wire from here and also this should be towards the wall and that side should be towards your load. This is connected to the wall and this will be connected to my load. I have this, it's long. I have, at this point I have, and I have determined which wire is live and this wire on this side is live. I've disconnected it and I put here a 3.5 millimeter bullet connector. This is the male and this is the female one which can be inserted and I put a heat shrink so it's uh, not exposed much and when you when you're using it with a current transformer I just remove it pass it through this current transformer this live wire and connect it making sure that the wires this side is the uh, your load if you connect it if you connect it like this you will not be able to read the power which I'm going to show you next after the current transformer here I put this wire that with a GST connector this is male GST connector and on the device I put female GST connector so I can easily and safely connect and disconnect it. This is a two pin AC power plug in North America, US, Canada and Mexico. As you can see one is a little wider than the other one. The small one is the live one and make sure that the live wire passes through this. Now the toaster is on and as you can see it shows current but no power. The reason for that one is that this current transformer have been connected the other way so I have to remove it and put it on the other side. Meaning this side is connected to the wall and this side is connected to the load. The wire that you have should be on the other side. Now this should work. It shows also the power and the current. Now the power meter is set up. This is connected but not turned on. As you can see it shows 0 0.04 uh, ampere and 0 0.41 watt. And that is the error of this device that even the load is not turned on. You see that one. So keep that in mind and let me turn this on. Now we are reading 795 watt for this. This is resistive load and as this heats up 
a little change in the res in resistance will happen and we'll see some changes but then will it will reach a steady state which will be stable and 6.57 ampere and the power factor is shows 0.99 because this is resistive load this is almost one with the resistive load power factor will be always one and the 60th uh, frequency is 60 hertz and and this doesn't show now amount of energy that has been consumed now this is off this is called run capacitor this is used for an air conditioner and it says 35 plus 5 microfarad plus minus 5 35 plus 5 mean it has two capacitors and one 35 microfarad and 5 microfarad we have their wiring i've connected it to 35 microfarad and this is the plug for this one which i'm going to connect this as load i'm going to connect the capacitor without this uh, toaster and pay attention here as you can see uh, it shows zero watt but it shows amount of current it knows it's uh, reactive power uh, that's why it shows zero that's very good but it shows amount of current because this is rms current at the moment now let me uh, turn on the the load now it's it shows 800 watt and 0 0.96 so the power factor have been reduced the reason for that one is existence of capacitor and 6.8 797 watts so let's wait for this for a few seconds until it heats up as you can see we are reading 793 it's being reduced heating up so 795 so 793 or 95 let me disconnect this still 793 95 but the power factor uh, if you look here it shows 6.57 or 56 so the current is increasing and the amount of power is the same finally it works good and now when i now when i disconnected this from the load now the capacitor has a charge if i touch this if anything touches this it will give them a shock so i have to discharge it with this uh, screwdriver now it's safe i can touch it now i'm going to test this heat gun this is in a, an inductive and capacitive load because it has a motor that's inductive and also it has a heating element it's just pure resistive now let's see how this one is handling this this device is rated at 12.5 ampere here at the maximum now this is connected the capacitor is not connected and i'm going to go with the maximum as you can see it shows 11.6 ampere and 1.3 kilowatt if the power factor is 0 0.99 this is running let's connect it so no difference except that the current 1.7 and 1.6 almost the same you saw that this is uh, handling the situation that with the reactive load very well the heat was also increasing at mode 2 if i press this at 1 now let's see it now it shows also the power factor because inductive load this is mostly inductive load so the power factor is very bad with a capacitor 2.86 ampere suddenly it shows less power 
and less power factor. The power factor has been reduced, the current has been increased. Because this shows amount of uh, energy that is stored, so you can reset that and also you can reset the alarm. When I press it and release it, it turns off the backlight. If I press it and hold it for over five seconds, that goes to the alarm. This is the alarm that you can set at what value. You see, after a certain time it goes back, so I'm holding this. But if I hold it for more than five seconds, and after this, if I hold it longer, now this resetted this uh, total energy that has been consumed. Now let's set this alarm for 1.2 kilowatt. I'm holding it until this blinks and release. Now press and for five seconds, it will move to the next one. Now this one, I'm gonna put it, I make it at one, press one and then hold it so it goes to the next one now here I want to make it two now if I don't do anything it will exit so now the alarm is set at 1.2 kilowatt now my toaster which is around 800 watt let me turn it on and you will see that it shows 800 watt and nothing happens let me turn it off now this heat gun first so that's 155 watt, nothing, let me go maximum. Now I'm gonna go with that power one, so we should see the alarm. Now that's the alarm. It tells you that, your, now it shows that it, it was over the limit. So somebody will come and see the blinking and do something. Thank you for watching. This was a test and review of this device. It's handling it very well. I did not have the load to go up to 100 ampere, but uh, uh, because this has a current transformer, I'm sure it's just a matter of displaying on the screen and it will be able to handle it. The other limiting factor on this one with 100 ampere is as the current increases, the wire will get thicker. So this is also a limiting factor because for 100 ampere in North America, we need a very, very thick wire here to put it. So that's also limiting it. If you learned something from this video, please thumb up. Uh, and also subscribe so you can get updates of my upcoming videos.